Tell me a little about your background so people know a little about you. Do you want it. to know my background? Yes. Well, uh, my dear, very, very, very dear David, I have come all the way from India to your place here in this college. Uh, as you express your feeling that you you have a desire to have a talk with me on a recorded, uh, my my real search of life started sometimes at the age of eight or nine, when I was hardly eight or nine years old. And the cause of that search was that I saw a person, a dead person, being carried to the cremation gown. Uh, followed by weeping and, uh, uh, you see, uh, uh, beating their b uh, breasts, uh, crying for that dead man. And he, he was put on the fire and lit the fire and he was, he was, he was, he was burnt. So I asked my mama, I asked my mother, what has happened to this man? She said, he's dead, he's dead. Why he died? He was an old man. Why he became an old man? He, she said, every person is to become an old man. So I said, am I also to become an old man? Am I also to die like that? Oh, why I have come in this world? If we are to suffer, we are to become old and then to die and then to be burnt in, this such, in such a manner. Why I have come, my mom, tell me. She said, uh, uh, my dear son, I, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what happened. It is some guru who can tell. So the first idea I got from my mother that the reality of life can be known only from the guru. So I started to ask questions. And at night when I used to sleep, I, I, I would come up and cry and weep like anything. And my mother would rush to me. What has happened to you? Have you got some stomach ache or some headache? I said, no, mom, I don't have any, any problem with my body, but I want to know why I have come to this world and where the guru shall be. So I started to worship God in different forms in my house. Uh, photographs of Guru Nanak and Ram and uh, Krishna and Sita, all that, just to just to find out where the where the truth is. Then I had a, uh, then I had a fast for about ten days. I stopped to eat my food when I was in tenth class. My mother, my father, my brothers, they were all afraid. Why you have left? I want to know who am I? Where is God? Why I am to die? Why I have to die? Why I have come to into this world? So, my mother went to the went to the Gurdwara in the village. There was no temple at that time. So, uh, that uh, saint of the Gurdwara came my home and sat by my side. He said, uh, "My dear child, why you are not eating food?" I said, "Baba." I want to know who am I and where I am to, why I am to die, where I will go after death. He said, uh, this, this penance of leaving the food is not good. This is not the, this is not the method to achieve uh, what you want to know. But uh, I assure you, you will definitely get a guru. So I passed my tenth and I joined the college, though I had many problems to join the college because my father was not able to uh, support me and he was not able to have a cycle for me. My good luck, my teacher who was teaching me in the fourth class, he came and he offered his cycle to me. Oh, my dear child, you have the cycle and you go. And he assured my father that let him study. He is a brilliant boy. He is to do something in his life. So I joined SD College and I passed part one in the college and joined the second year of uh, the college degree. Uh, so one day, if a, a relative of a villager, whose uh, sister was born, uh, married in my village, he was quite well known to my father and mother. One day he came and he saw me. He asked my father uh, what the child is doing. He said, He's, he is studying in the college. I, my father was very proud of that in the village, my son is the first child who joined the college. So he said, how he goes to the college? 
He said, my father said, he goes by cycle. Oh, it is very long distance of 12 kilometers. She must be feeling tired. How can you study and then come back home? I have two rooms at the first floor of my shop. So he can shift there. I will not charge anything. No electricity bill, no water. Mm -hmm. So that is very near to, my, my, uh, to his college. So I felt very happy. And uh, he said, but he should be supplied food from home. So my brother offered this. We will offer him, uh, we will take food for him over there every morning. So uh, David, I started to live in that room. And one Sunday, I'm telling you my background, how I came to Baba Fakir. Right. So one Sunday, I heard some sound from the opposite side. Somebody was singing some some religious hymns, religious songs, religious Shabbat. So I heard it. Oh, it is some, some religious congregations and I went inside. That man sitting on the, uh, on the gate, he gave me the cap. During those days, uh, uh, satsang was not allowed to uh, sit in the satsang with the, uh, with the mm -hmm. naked uh, head, you know. Right. So he gave me the cap and I also sat there. So that gentleman, the old man, was telling some stories, very interesting stories, and also talking about that writing, what the writer is saying to the human beings, how to live in this world, and what is karma, and what is God, what is moksha. He was telling all that. When the, the sun came to an end, I went to him. I went to him. I had some many questions in my mind. I said, Baba, uh, may, may I ask you some questions? Oh, no, beta. I, we are not authorized to answer the question. Dan said, who will answer my question? I have certain doubts that you have spoken about. He said, Guru, it is Guru who can give the answer. Where is that Guru? He said, it is Vyas. Where is Vyas? I went a village urchin. I did never knew. Where is Vyas? He said, have you seen Jalandar? I said, no, I haven't seen Jalandar. <laughs> have you gone to Kirtarpur? No, I have never traveled by bus or by train. He said, uh, dear boy, there is Jalandar, then Kirtarpur, then Bias station. Thereby, a distance of few miles, there is a Dera Bias. There is our Guru. So I came and I was happy that I found a Guru. I will definitely meet him. So in the evening, uh, that Dalat Ram, who was the owner of the shop, and he offered his uh, rooms to me, he came to me. I asked Dalat Ram, uh, uh, do you know Bias? He said, why? I, I said, I learned that there's some guru. I want to see him and talk to him. <laughs> he said, oh, I have got Nam from Guruji. And I learned a new name that is some Nam. I never knew what is Nam. So I said, would you like to uh, accompany me? He said, on the coming Sunday, the coming Sunday is, uh, uh, is the Pandhara. They say Pandhara. They don't say Satsang. Right. Uh, you, you be ready, we'll go. Oh, I was, I was so happy. <laughs> and I waited for the Sunday, next Sunday. And he accompanied me to Bias. So there was a, a tent, you see, um, a person was sitting on the stage and he was singing in a very a musical tune, uh, some songs, some shabads from Gurbani, from Samami Ji Maharaj. I felt happy, oh, this is very good place. <laughs> so I also sat, people also, there were about 500 people at that time, that, that was the year of 1956. Mm -hmm. 1956, I was hardly 18 years old. So when satsang was over, my doubts remained as they were. I didn't get any answer to my questions from within. So people started to stand in a line. His Holiness Baba Chand Singh Ji sat on the chair and we were asked to go like this, have prasad and have darshan and go. <laughs> I asked the person before me, in front of me, well, gentleman, my dear, I want to talk to Babaji. He saw like this to me. 
<laughs> the, with a strange eye. Uh, this child is want to talk to our guru? No, oh no. Come on, come on. <laughs> the, the man behind me, he said, go ahead, go ahead. I, no, I want to talk to Baba. He, he, told him, he told him was was seeing this scene. And I was so much disturbed and felt defeated in my life. What is this? Uh, guru has seen me. And he has not asked these gentlemen that allow this boy to come to me. I felt unhappy. I didn't relish that prasad and left for Hosharpur, saying I had come with a hope. I had come to Bias with a hope, but I'm going from Bias with any hope, without hope. So I came home. I didn't bother where the Daltram is and I came home and I wept to the maximum I could weep in search of Guru. In the evening, Daltram followed me. He came to my room and said, Bacha, I searched you there. I felt very much disturbed. Why you ran? I said, Daltram, I am unhappy. I am disheartened. I could not talk to your Guru. And Guru didn't give me time. So he sat by my side and put his hand over here. Well, you are the greatest thirst. thirst. You are very thirsty to know the truth. But don't mind, don't be disheartened. There is one Baba. He will satisfy you. He will answer your all questions. I felt little courage. Okay, <laughs> is there? Well, they, oh, they are lucky that second, this Sunday, coming Sunday is the first Sunday of the month and he gives only one satsang in a month on the first Sunday, not on all the Sundays. So you be ready in the Sunday, I will come and take you to the art place. So I, I, had a, I had a little hope. I had a, I had a, uh, a lightning in the darkest clouds of my life. So he came on the Sunday morning and I was ready at 7. It was time was 8 a.m. 8 a.m. He came at 7.30. I was already ready. He was very happy to see me. Oh, you are ready? Come on. We walked to the place of Master Mohanlal. His holiness, Master Mohanlal was the greatest devotee of Baba Fakirji Maharaj. And he had arranged this satsang at his house for the last many years. So uh, he was, uh, he was uh, in front of me and I was following him. There are lanes, there are lanes, one lane and then this lane, then this lane, streets, you know, streets. So one lane was going like this and then there was one street like this. This way and this way, when I had to turn this way, His Holiness Baba Fakir was sitting on the platform with a hookah, that pipe, a smoking pipe mm -hmm. in his hand. His Holiness, while sitting, saw towards me like this and there was current in my body. My body had a current, my body, my body, I felt there is something, something new has gone into my body. Oh, myself answered me that you have reached a right place. I went, uh, my dear David, to His Holiness sat there, put my head in his holy feet and didn't move. I didn't move. I remained sitting there. People used to come, <laughs> touch his feet and so go there. But I didn't move. His holiness put his hand here. I, I raised my head and saw into eyes of eyes. Mm -hmm. And that current from his eye was a light within me that came in me. And I felt that if he, as if he was waiting for me. What he did then, he gave me the book of Sarbachan and opened himself. He opened the book himself and point, gave it to me and pointed to me, Bachar, dear son or oh dear boy, Read this, read this Shabad. That Shabad was written by Hazur Rai Salgram Sahab to Swamiji Maharaj 
ਦਬਿਦ ਵਰਡਸ ਗੁਰੂ ਮੋਹੇ ਆਪਣਾ ਰੂਪ ਦਿਖਾਓ ਓ ਗੁਰੂ ਸ਼ੋ ਮੀ ਥਾਈ ਸ਼ੋ ਮੀ ਥਾਈ ਫਾਰਮ ਐਂਡ ਸ਼ੋ ਮੀ ਥਾਈ ਮਾਈ ਫਾਰਮ ਟੂ ਇਟ ਵਾਸ ਅ ਕੁਐਸਚਨ ਸੋ ਆਈ ਕੰਟੀਨਿਊਡ ਵਿਦ ਦ ਇਮੋਸ਼ਨਲ ਸੌਂ ਵਿਦ ਦ ਇਮੋਸ਼ਨਲ ਟਿਊਨ and it with the love and i was full of emotion i was full of love towards him he explained he answered every question of my life and i felt satiated i felt satisfied felt that i have got the guru from that day onward i i never missed any satsang till the till i completed my ma 1956 to 1962 uh, when i left that place then i could i would i would come occasionally monthly as and when i could get time i would not i would not leave him so that's how i came into his contact number 1 number 2 i was uh, since i had heard him i had heard him every sunday to i would uh, sit i i would go out of home because there were children and i was feeling always disturbed i could not study uh, children's noise you see shrieking and laughing and dancing so i would move to a certain dilapidated place uh, which was situated at about 100 meters from my home uh, near the cremation ground so i raised a platform of bricks and put a plank of wood on it and made it my table so i will study there then what i will do when i felt tired i will sit repeat the name of radha swami and also meditate on the holy form from the alji maharaj i started to do that without any proper initiation so when i was in ba final ba final 1959 in the evening it was about it was a month of may quite hot so i was sitting at that lepidet place and arj erupted from within i must go just now to have the darshan of baba ji maharaj i must go so i left my books over there came home took my cycle pedaled to railway mandi house number 18 without any thinking that this is not the good time <laughs> this is not the proper time to disturb his holiness went near the door and call bell i put my hand on the call bell to my good luck to my good luck his holiness was preparing his smoking pipe at that time and he had the arthan arthan a pot of fire in his hand so with that pot iron pot you know that right. smoking mm-hmm. he was <coughs> carrying it in his hand mm-hmm. and he himself came to open the door he himself came to open the door I bowed my head into his holy feet and begged pardon pitaji uh, I could not control to come over here please excuse me please excuse me I have come to have your darshan this was answer to him beta is waqt ki hai why you have come at this moment so I said like that I I have come to have your darshan i could not resist myself my dear lord so he came forward he came little forward uh, he this here is the threshold he stood here i'm standing here he took his hand like this and put it here he put his lovely hand full of grace full of compassion full of full of uh, truth here and said listen i repeat the, do the simran of radha swami and meditate but not for long time to meditate on the form of the guru and repeat radha swami so i was initiated i was initiated so this process continued this process continued till i got into service in 1963 
1963, and I got some, uh, some uh, I should say, temporary post in the government department. I never, I never uh, was uh, unemployed. Right from the day I finished my education, I always sought some, some school, some place where to work. So 1965, I got uh, uh, the, the lectureship in the college. In between, in between 1962, I got married. I got married. And marriage, uh, this is also a, a part of my life. Uh, in, at that time, at that time, it, 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 was, it was never considered by the parents that let the boy become mature, let him become capable enough to run the family. People used to marry, uh, uh, to uh, perform the marriage ceremony quite earlier. I was in the ninth class at that time when I was married. And I never saw the face of my wife, nor wow. she saw my face. Wow. Nine, nine, I was in ninth class. But I, I, I married with the, with the condition with my parents that I will never see my wife till I'm settled in my life. I will never, I will never do this. You see, this family, family service, it is my, this is my promise. If you agree, then I'll get married. Otherwise, not. I had a grandfather. I had my father. They agreed. Okay, beta. So I, when I passed MA, then my parents, then my in-laws, they became little conscious now that, that their girl should come to my house. I should, we should live husband and wife. I, myself, my wife, my father-in-law went to Parmadiyalji Maharaj to get blessings. This is the story that I'm telling you. Yes. Of my life. I bowed heads together, said, Baba Ji Maharaj, Shadi ho gaya? Have you got married? Married. <laughs> and he asked my father-in-law, my father-in-law, I'm telling you a very important point. His Holiness asked my father-in-law, how, what is the qualification of the, your daughter? What is the qualification of your daughter? My father was a villager, a little red man. He said, Maharaj, Maharaj, there is no school in our villages. There's no college in our villages. And there's no system like that to send the girls to school or to college. She knows the household job. And she knows in Punjabi to wrote, write and to read. You know what Wabaji Mara said? Will she be able to pull on with him? He is to become a very great man in his life. These are the words of Baba Ki to me at that time. I folded my hands. I folded my hands. My Satguru with your blessings, with your grace, I will, I will live with her. I will spend my life with her mm -hmm. because I knew this art of living. If I, if I, if I leave her at this moment who has waited for me for seven years, she will curse me and I, I will not have a left, happy life. So taking care of her thoughts, giving care of her, waiting for me. Taking, taking you dreams that uh, my husband is studying. I, my right. husband will become a right. teacher. Yes. He will become a professor. He will may become IAS officer because I had an idea to that. So I promised I will pull on well with her under your grace. So my life started. So from uh, in 65, I got one son. That is Ram Bilas, eldest one, and uh, His Holiness gave him this name, Ram Bilas. In 67, I got second son. His name was too given by His Holiness, Divijyoti. 
and two th and then uh, in 19 1967 divvijyoti 1973 july 17 uh, kuldeep right. uh, had uh, had a birth and his name was he was also given name by baba fakir ji maharaj so my life started i got job and i was settled so then there was always urge there were if there are leaves then i would rush to hishar but stay there for two three four days and have satsang sit near by him uh, i had all what i desired in my life physically socially economically religiously and spiritually <laughs> okay so this is one part right. 